Hello everyone and welcome back to software testing by Jamil and today's topic is JSON JavaScript object notation uh, which I personally use as part of the API testing uh, so let's get into the content of today's topic which is uh, first we'll have a introduction about JSON and then I'll explain JSON thin syntax data type I'll show you example of JSON in Postman, uh, actual uh, writing of a JSON, uh, which I generally use, normally use for uh, testing uh, testing uh, account imports and transactions. And then we'll have the, uh, once we've done that, we'll have the wrap up. So what is, uh, what is uh, uh, JSON? So it's a, kind of, it's a lightweight, uh, data interchange format and uh, I mean it's, it's human readable easy to read and write uh, you can see in my example uh, it's in a text format um, uh, and therefore it's very easy to pass for machine uh, parts and generate um, it is commonly used in API and uh, configuration I personally as a test I pers I'm, uh, personally mostly used for the API testing where I'm parsing, uh, mimicking the data of an API into a backend system, uh, posting, getting, uh, as uh, and uh, this programming languages uh, actually this uh, JSON is based on the JavaScript programming languages of uh, standard from a third edition uh, December '99. If I could spell December '99 for the starters, uh, but yeah, that's when uh, it's that's what it's based on. Uh, I mean. All the uh, C, uh, C so family of C languages uh, have the uh, uh, parsing JSON library for parsing the data um, uh, and built on uh, JSON is built on two different structures and one is a, a collection of uh, name value pairs where I mean in various languages uh, you have the objects, record structures, and that, uh, or associative arrays which he uses. So um, you'll see when I uh, give you an example on how uh, uh, how the these are written, or an order list value. So it's a uh, it's again like an array of vectors and lists of sequences. Uh, so let's just explain what uh, syntax is so uh, syntax uh, I mean uh, it has a like uh, I just mentioned it as a I mean it's based on a, it's got a few name so that's in double quotes and then followed by a column and then uh, a value for the name so in my uh, example we've got the um, string format there so you have a test as a name of the field and then you have the value which is json and yeah that's all it is i mean that's the exact syntax that i uh, you need so uh, then you've got the different data types there and um, first one is the string so uh, in a string again you could have like for example street but um, what I have there, what I have missing there is the actual double quotes ending with the T. So there should be another double quote there for street. And then obviously that would be the name of the field. And then you've got the value, which is one park row. Uh, then again, you have the numbers and that would be, I mean, I'm going to return there, but you would have a number as a name and the value will be one or, you know, double decimals or, or negative uh, number. Uh, you see you see my example of the numbers and then you have the boolean so for example as a person is he alive uh yes no true i'm sorry yes no will be true or false so true uh, as a boolean and then you have the next is the uh, null so for example if you have a address which doesn't have a county so you could just put a null in there and that will just uh, pause it through and then you have the array and it works like just like a normal array so you have a i mean res, as a result so some it could be exam results and again that's just a sim simplistic uh, 
numbers there which are like 45 78 and 35 but again you can have for example you can have an um uh, again you can have an uh, like the next line is object where you have addresses and the address has the full like uh, house number the road name and then for example the city uh, again in an array you can have the uh, object where you, where you you have a different fields and different name fields there so you could have for example as an exam result so you'll have an object called exam and within that you'll have a, a exam result and within that you could have like another object a, a, a various objects for example one object, object would be science and then science uh, and sorry field name would be uh, object would be science and then you have marks for that and then so uh, so on maths etc or over this pass or fail so you could have a science and then my uh, uh, object within the uh, exam result object and then uh, have a name field called um, uh, uh, marks which will be like for example 50 and the 45 and then you have the another another field called uh, pass and then you can have again a boo as a boolean true or false um, and then the extension so extension the file is always saved as uh, json so uh, for example test json uh, so the next let's get into actually doing some uh, examples on the postman yeah so let's do the uh, start of the json here so we start off with um, uh, just so we're gonna have an object of uh, a person object but uh, obviously you don't start with the actual uh, name of the First, so you have the open open curly brackets and then let's start with the uh, person say first name so first uh, name and then that would be uh, then we have the uh, semicolon and then we have the actual name so let's name it Joe blog and then you have to have a comma in order unless it's the last field in the object itself or an array so then we go next and then we have the say last name and then uh, that would be blog uh, so then we have blog and then we have say uh, age so that was our string now we're gonna do the age will be our number so if we go sorry that goes the other way around so it has to and then comma and then a said age is 31 so joe blog is 31 years old so there we go so first a uh, name and the last name is in a string format which starts and ends with uh, double quotes and the age which is a number goes without the quote so i mean this is when you're actually mapping it to um uh, the back end so uh, for example uh, for example if the uh, you're passing this through and the age gets passed through as a, a number from uh, sorry from there but uh, say it's a boolean on the other end it will fail so or vice versa if you pass it as a um, if you pass it as a string and it's a number it will fail so you got an error uh, so then we have is person live so let's say is the person yeah, so is the person live? Uh, so is it live? And this time you're gonna say, say it's a boolean, it's true or false. So that is true, the person is live. And then we have after that, so we're gonna have a, after that we'll have a, a, I guess we'll have an address. So we'll have person address and the address is uh, let's see address uh, address and oops if i can so address i mean address because address has a uh, various fields so address has like um uh, street no house number street uh city uh, postcode so it'll go with the object so we can have an object in this case and the object would be so we start with 
Uh, the first would be house number and that house number say one and then we have the uh, street or road uh, whatever you call it uh, which would be let's just call it from our previous example we call it park road and then again we have uh, say a uh, city also we have city and that would be say I don't know Soliho and that is our address subject so uh, it's got the uh, whole uh, various and uh, various data that needs to go in and then say the next we go for I mean the person must have phone numbers I guess uh, now with the phone numbers because you could possibly have a, a house number or a, a, and a mobile number and office number so uh, we will go with the array so in array you could have multi so that's a square bracket multiple uh, data so mul uh, in this case we will have say start off with uh, what type of phone number it is so the type will be name is type and uh, value uh, I mean it is a number so uh, or possibly could it be a string uh, thing will go with the number so it could be zero one zero uh, three or five um, zero so that's the oh sorry that's the type so the type will be string my apologies because they're trying to determine whether it's a home number or a mobile so this is a home number and then app number will be a number 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 and number will be say the number but there's one thing that um i have missed which is that it needs to be an object within the arrays because it has um because uh, each number has multiple fields so if it was just um it just entering like number without giving it what type of number it is so if you were just entering a house number and mobile number we could just have them too but because they're uh, just number values rather than a name but because we got a name and a value therefore it can't be an array without being an object so what we'll do is add i mean if i take that back an error will be there so it's expecting something else so if we go here and then here uh, uh, sorry, there, here uh, again we'll have to put a comma to make sure that it does has an entrance so there we go uh, sorry and it needs again comma here so now again we go for the type so we could just copy that and paste that here change that to mobile and say zero seven one two four three eight nine one. so that's our mobile number uh, so that's our now we've got a array there which has um, uh, multiple numbers but it's has to uh, in an object because obviously we're given each each a type so uh, but if it wasn't type then it would just be just if it was just numbers we could just straight put them into array but we'll have to create an objects with within the array so that's the uh, so we covered a uh, string uh, boolean and uh, uh, numbers so what we'll do now so does the uh, the next will be does the 
as the uh, personal children um, so if the person doesn't have children uh, again obviously if it's more than one child so we'll have up to array children and it could be multiple so we'll have an array and within the array uh, we would have a, a, a object with the details of each child but since the child doesn't have children we just uh, leave it blank so and the next will be uh, the, the person of spouse uh, well and no spouse so i um, mean this we could just leave it blank uh, we don't know so we just put it no and that's our uh, json completed uh, if i send that I should get a positive so I'm using one of these uh, API services and that gives me positive though our JSON is correct so uh, that's as simple as that covering a uh, string uh, 30 uh, number then data types and the uh, boolean uh, arrays and objects uh, and the uh, but uh, it, as you could see it's a very nice uh, easy to write easy to understand so to wrap it up uh, i mean uh, as you've seen from my uh, uh, example it's uh, very easy to use it's in a text format so it's uh, uh it's, it's it's quite uh, straightforward once you get hang of it and and it's completely uh, language independent uh I mean, like I mentioned earlier, it's not. Uh, it's based on uh, JavaScript, but it's uh, language independent, and it's quite. Uh, I mean, if you use any of the C, uh, C family of languages, Java, C sharp, C, C plus, Python, Perl, it's quite easy to understand. I mean, for the uh, non uh, programmers, even, I mean, even, uh, I mean, manual testers could really understand as well. So if you do have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments box. Uh, I mean, if you like me to create a more in-depth video, let me know. Uh, so and if you like this tutorial, uh, like like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell button to get the notification on latest video. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.